good morning kids today we will be discussing about the conservation of forest in the last class we learnt about the importance of forest we know that trees provide us with many things and it is our duty to conserve them all around the world the trees are being cut down for farming for building houses for roads and bridges this cutting down of trees are known as deforestation and the process of sowing seed or plants in an area where there are no trees to create forest is known as a forestation now it is very important to conserve forest because first one is we all know that the roots of the tree absorb water imagine if there are no trees no roots the soil will not be able to absorb water and in heavy rains the water will remain on the top of the soil which will result in flood so it is very important to plant trees next point is in hilly region if there are no trees the rain water washes away the top layer of the soil and we know that the top layer is very rich in nutrients that helps plants and trees to grow this results in landslide you can see here the picture of landslide landslide means a heavy fall of earth or rocks down the sides of the mountain now the next important point is forests are the homes of wild animals birds and insects so if we cut down the trees they will lose their home now these are few important points which shows that trees of the forest are very important to us now we should conserve these forest to conserve these forest we should plant more and more trees and we should also remember the three r's that is reduce reuse and recycle we should reduce the use of products that are made from trees and we should recycle products like paper books cardboard boxes and reuse them so this way we can conserve forest next we'll discuss about the wildlife in india now what is wildlife all animals and plants that grow independently of people using the natural habitat is known as wildlife in india that is in the north eastern region we can find animals such as elephants rhinos tigers deer and so on and animals like leopards tigers bear wild boars wild buffaloes live in deciduous forest so we have already learnt about the deciduous forest these forest are less dense as compared to the evergreen forest and then we can find large varieties of fishes water birds and reptiles in our india's lake and rivers this is the picture of asiatic lion we can find them in gir forest in gujarat then we have royal bengal tiger which is found in sundarbans in west bengal this is rhino which is found in kazaringa national park assam now let's see the importance of wildlife these wildlife maintain balance of nature through regulation of population of different species and food chain next one is gene bank here the wildlife serves as gene bank for breeding and these are used in agriculture animal husbandry and fishery next importance of wildlife is plant propagation the pollination of certain plants are done by wild animals like birds insects and so on 
Next point is cleaning of environment. So the scavengers and decomposers, wild animals like eagle, vulture, jackal, all feed upon these dead animals and they convert them into important nutrients. So they do a very important work of cleaning the environment. Next one is experimental animals. Few animals like monkey, rabbits, guinea pigs, rats are used for performing experiments. So these were some of the importance of wildlife. Now we'll discuss about the conservation of wildlife. So what is conservation of wildlife? It is a practice of protecting plant and animal species and their habitat. Habitat means the place where they live. Now we all know that cutting down of trees results in the destroying of natural habitat of animals and human beings hunt and kill these animals for skin, fur, thorn and tusk. As a result many animals have extinct. So extinct means an animal or plant that is no longer in existence. And due to this process, there are some animals whose numbers have reduced and they might soon disappear from the earth. So these species are known as endangered species. In order to protect these wildlife, our government has declared some areas as protected areas. These are known as the national parks or sanctuaries. Here, the cutting down of trees or killing of animals are illegal. And some of the well-known national park and sanctuaries are Cobert National Park in Uttarakhand, Jaldapara National Park in West Bengal, Peria National Park and Tiger Reserves in Kerala, and Sariska in Rajasthan. So, this was about the conservation of wildlife. Now there is an activity for you. You have to find out any one scheme or program initiated by the government for wildlife protection in India and you have to submit it in Microsoft Teams. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.